Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video here today on my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my top 5 DJ controllers that you can get for under $100. Now I'm sure you've seen massive DJs like Martin Garrix, Tiesto touring the world at the biggest festivals and clubs. And I bet you think to yourself, hmm, I wouldn't mind doing that. Well, the truth is these DJs had to start off somewhere and likeliness is their first piece of DJ equipment was probably a cheap one. It is very daunting, however, to pick a piece of DJ equipment when you don't really know anything about DJing. So you've actually come to the right place because today I'm going to be telling you guys the best DJ controllers that you can buy that are very, very cheap. So before we get into the top five countdown, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on. Also drop the video a like. Leave me a comment of maybe another top five countdown you would like to see me do in the future. Maybe top five DJ controllers under $250 or top five DJ headphones. Let me know down in the comments. Every single piece of DJ equipment that I mention in this video will be available to buy down in the description and I've tried to find the best prices for you guys so make sure you check those links out and if you're interested in picking one of these products up then use them links down in the description. Coming in at number five we have the Numark DJ to go to touch. This DJ controller costs around $79. It's compatible with Serato DJ Lite, but also it's compatible with iOS apps, which means you can actually DJ with this controller through your phone. Now, the reason why this is good is because you can actually stream tracks directly to your DJ controller, which is perfect for people who don't have much time or don't have much money to go out there and find and buy tracks on a large scale. It has an ultra compact design, which means you can actually carry this thing around in your hand. You can throw it in a backpack. It's super portable, which is always good for a beginner DJ. It has touch capacitive jog wheels, which of course is perfect for scratching and searching around your tracks. The new Mark DJ to go to touch also comes with four performance pads. It has four features, including hot cues, auto loops, manual loops, and a sampler. These are great features for getting creative in the mix and it's going to allow you to have some fun when you first start mixing. The only reason why the new Mac DJ to go to touch is fifth on our top five list is because it actually has limited volume control knobs. You'll see with the rest of the controllers we're going to talk about today, they have more options and more capabilities when you're controlling your EQ and your volume when you're mixing. Nonetheless, the new Mac DJ to go to Touch is a very good DJ controller, especially for the price. It's going to allow you to learn to DJ very easily. And those streaming capabilities are very, very powerful. So one of the best DJ controllers you can get for under $100 for sure. Coming in at number four, we have the Hercules DJ Starlight. Now this DJ controller again costs $79. Just like the Numark controller, it also has an ultra compact design, which means you can again carry this thing around in your hand, you can throw it in a backpack, so no matter where you're going, whether you're going around to a friend's house or you're traveling between your family's house, you can take this with you and you can DJ anywhere. It has a little bit more volume control than the Numark controller. You have a bass and a filter knob, which is basically going to allow you to get a little bit more creative and have a little bit more control over your mixing capabilities. Just like the Numark controller, however, you do only have a crossfader to mix between your tracks. And this is something that we're not going to see going forward. We're going to have a little bit more control. So it's just worth bearing in mind, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to mix without the channel faders. But you can definitely still mix with a crossfader. And especially when you're a beginner, it's definitely good to have less buttons, less knobs to, to worry about. And you're still going to be able to do a really nice smooth mix with this controller. The Hercules DJ Starlight contains four performance pads with hot cues, loops, effects, and a sampler. Again, these performance features are excellent for getting creative in the mix, and you're definitely gonna have a lot of fun with these DJ features. Just like the new Mark controller, it comes with Serato DJ Lite, one of the best entry-level DJ softwares that you can get. Super, super simple to use, and there's always that capability there. If you wanted to upgrade to the full version, you can unlock a lot more features and get a lot more creative. But the Serato DJ Lite software is stripped back and makes it a little bit easier for beginner DJs to learn how to mix. 
Another cool thing about the Hercules DJ Starlight is that it comes with a lighting effect underneath the controller. So when you mix in, you're going to have some cool flashing lights going on. Again, it just allows you to have a little bit more fun when you mix in, a little bit more entertaining, and just allows you to enjoy getting into the hobby, enjoy learning to DJ just that little bit more. Coming in at number three on the top five DJ controllers for under $100 is the new Mark Party Mix. Now this DJ controller actually costs around $89. Just like the previous two, it comes with Serato DJ Lite. Again, a very, very good piece of DJ software for entry level DJs. It comes with a two band EQ, so you get your bass knob and you get your high knob, which is basically gonna allow you to be a little bit more creative in the mix. You're gonna be able to be a little bit more smooth with your transitions. This is definitely something that I like to see. You also get a gain knob at the top as well. You get four performance pads on the new Mark Party Mix. You get Q, loop and a sampler so these are very good features again you can get creative in the mix just like the previous controllers definitely some good features there now one thing that is different from the previous two controllers is that you actually have channel faders now which is basically just going to make it a little bit easier for you to mix and the truth is the new mark party mix actually has everything that you need in order to mix at a very decent standard your transitions are going to be smooth you can get creative and it basically takes all the most important things from the most expensive pieces of DJ equipment and strips it all down to the bare essentials, which some of the previous controllers that we mentioned are missing. And another cool thing about the party mix is it actually features built-in lights on the back of it, again, just like the previous controller. So the, the room will be flashing while you're mixing, you'll be having a good time, especially if you're gonna be mixing with friends or you're gonna be, you know, mixing a house party, you're gonna be DJing in front of people. It's always cool to have a little bit of light on show. It creates a little bit of an atmosphere and it means you can have some fun while you're learning to mix. Coming in at number two on the top five DJ controls for under $100, is the Hercules DJ Control Impulse 200. This DJ controller comes in for around $100. The only negative thing about this DJ controller is that it comes with its very own DJ software and that is Dejuiced. Now I've personally not used Dejuiced too much so I can't really talk about it too much but all I know is that it isn't one of the leading brands in the DJ scene. So because it isn't, I'm guessing it's not going to have some features that the other DJ softwares have like Serato and like Recordbox. So you are going to be stripped back and it's going to be a tiny bit harder to use than those other tried and tested DJ softwares. You do have four performance pads, however, with four modes, including Hot Q, Roll, FX and a sampler. Again, you have a two band EQ and you have a gain knob. And this is the first time that we've seen a dedicated filter knob on this list. Having a dedicated filter knob is essential to mixing. It's a, the, probably the best and most effective effects that you can use in the mix. It means that you can drown out the highs and the low frequencies just by the turning of one knob and it's very cool sounding. You can get really creative with the filter and definitely something that you're going to use a lot throughout your DJ career. So it's great to have that knob on this controller. It also has many features to help you learn to DJ, like the beat alignment and the tempo help with the lights. It's a great piece of DJ equipment, not only because it has everything that you need, it has some great uh, creative features on there, but also those features that help you learn to mix, that are going to help you to learn to beat match, are very, very important in your early days of learning how to DJ. And this DJ controller is definitely one of the best that you can get for under $100 everything that you need for a very very good price you definitely will be able to master the art of mixing with this dj controller so definitely one that i recommend highly now coming in at the best dj controller that you can get for under a hundred dollars it's the pioneer ddj 200 now first of all if you was to buy this controller brand new it does cost around 130 so i have gone slightly over budget but if you was to buy this controller secondhand, let's say on Facebook Marketplace, or you used to buy it secondhand on eBay, then you would be able to get it for less than $100. And I would definitely recommend getting this controller for secondhand for under $100 than going buying one of the other controllers brand new, just because the Pioneer DDJ200 really is that much better than the rest of them. But of course, if you can buy it brand new, then definitely do. This DJ controller supports multiple DJ softwares, including for me, the most important one, Recordbox. Recordbox is probably the best piece of DJ software that you can get in the world. It's Pioneer's own 
DJ software is absolutely jam-packed with features that the professional DJs use. It can be a little bit overwhelming to use at first, but definitely something you can pick up over time and it's only going to make you a better DJ in the long run. It's also compatible with phones so you can actually DJ directly to your phone just like we've seen earlier in this video. You can actually connect it via Bluetooth so no wires needed and you can stream songs directly to your DJ controller. Again, such a powerful and revolutionary thing that we've seen in the DJ scene. It's going to save you a lot of money and a lot of time. Again, we have our channel faders and we also have our crossfader and we see for the first time a three band EQ, which is absolutely amazing for mixing. It means that you can isolate individual noises in each track. You can take out the highs, the mids and the lows. Again, this is a professional DJ feature that for the price is exceptional. It has pretty much every single thing that you need to be able to create smooth transitions and get creative while you are mixing. Now, because the Pioneer DDJ 200 is compatible with so many DJ softwares. There are so many different pad effects that you can actually use depending on what DJ software you are using. But there are definitely a lot more creative things that you can do with the pads on this thing than you can do with the previous controllers. You also get eight hot cues on this DJ controller to use. Of course, you can set hot cues and all those other effects that are gonna be available to use with those pads. And of course, owning a Pioneer product is a prestigious thing. They are known worldwide as the leading brand in the DJ industry and owning and using a piece of Pioneer equipment is going to allow you to just gain that little bit more respect from other DJs and from other people seeing you mix. It's also going to allow you to get into that Pioneer side of things. You know, if you decide to upgrade, let's say to a DDJ 400 or to a DDJ 1000, you're going to have a lot smoother of a transition over to a new piece of DJ equipment because you've already learned the basics and you've learned how to mix on a Pioneer controller. So everything is going to be a little bit easier for you. Overall, the Pioneer DDJ 200 is without a doubt the best value piece of DJ equipment that you can get for around $100. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top five DJ controllers that you can get for under $100. I really do think these are the best value DJ controllers that you can buy for the price. And if I did help you pick your DJ controller in this video, then make sure you drop it a like and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell for more videos just like this one. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment down below letting me know what you want me to do a top five video on and I'll take your comment and I'll make the video just for you. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I really appreciate you stopping by the channel and uh, yeah, help me hit 10,000 subscribers uh, and I'll love you forever and ever. But yeah, hope you have a good day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. See ya.